Hello, people, this is Nerd back here in our M of Productions, and today I'm here with you, Nerd M. I always mess up my own intro. I invented it. Why can I not say it? Oh, so I'm back here with you, Nerd Songs of Aria. Area, Aria, however you say this. Yeah, I've still yet to even upload the first one, so still don't even know if this is, if I'm being pronounced it right. I'm probably going to finish it tonight, hopefully. Hoping I do, because there's a good chance we'll lose power tonight, cause even though we're. It's, this is Louisiana. Why do we have weather like this? Seriously. So we get out. We get out today. We got out of school today for bad weather. See, it was about four or five o'clock. It finally started to hail. Finally, and we don't ever get that. But still, it finally did. And then it held and held and held. It's supposed to be get, it's supposed to get really bad tonight. If we're lucky, we'll actually have snow and it'll actually stick. If we're lucky. Also, um, all. All of the ones recorded for this, I would use the sound from my phone over the game because, well, you couldn't hear my voice in the game because this music was so overpowering. I've turned down the music so much. If it's still overpowering, you'll hear it from my phone still. Yet again, me little lower quality in sound, but still. Oh well, what what could you do? It this this takes equipment to actually work with. So, also um, I also had a technical difficulty for whatever reason. It didn't save my game last night, so I had to go through the whole thing to get back to this exact slide where we were last night. So let's hop into it. Also, I'm doing it with my light on this time because it just hurt my eyes a little bit too much last night. So yeah, should probably turn on my fan because it's already starting to get hot. And I I haven't even had my computer on very much, but we have the heater on and all that, and the light just makes it hotter. So, I mean, the lights could be off and the heater could be off, and my room still gets hot just from my computer. So, but let's hop on back into this. And this time, I got a big bottle of water. So, hope for the best. So, her eyes briefly shine with a bright gleam as in eagerness to begin her lesson. Magic can be defined. Whoa. Don't be messing up on me, headset. Come on. Okay. Magic can be defined as a manipu as a manipu manipulation of art Air what? Or specific or specifically their symbolic forms, which as as go by their same name. As the same name. These artifacts these I'm just gonna call them artifacts, okay? These artifacts appear in to us as elements or in injur injuries. What? For the can I don't even Whoever wrote this, you're a genius, but come on, I'm dyslexic, and to have partial aphasia. I can barely read as it is. It's amazing. I could, I could have, I've been able to remember to spell O right for the past, however long that's been going on between me and Sam. Oh, well. or okay, I've already read that. Around our circuits, I guess I don't know. I think that's what that said. Once once the circling ener energies are released from the circuits, they flow as we desire the pro the and produce spectacular effects known as magic. I'm sorry if I'm we weaving back of swaying back and forth. I do that all the time, so all magicians does wait, all a magician does is bind in energies that already exist. A ugh. It already exists. A task possible by anyone equipped with the proper knowledge. Thus, anyone can be a magician. Yay. Shut up, Peter. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's, it's, it's literally, it sounds like it multi goes. And it, it just, it really sounds weird. For whatever reason, it's quite soothing, for whatever reason. Just like a fire. Okay, this tells us that the source of the power is not in. Internal but external. These energies at at these artifacts, and just common artifacts, have been taken have I've been talking about. So what exactly is an artifact? And what gives it so much power? The ability to produce effects called magic. To be honest, no one knows exactly what an artifact is. It is far beyond the reaches of human comprehension. Well that's not very far for me, actually. No scratch that. I I do I have some 
level of comprehension in some fields. When it comes to English, I or just not exactly logic, but English and dealing with um emotionally things like that, I can't comprehend. Sorry, I just can't do it. I try, I really do, but I can't. Okay, comprehension. That's why a magician can only manipulate their symbolic forms. As I said, there, these appear to us as elements or energies. More specifically, things like fire, air, earth, water, light, shadow, etc. Etc. Certura. Oh, that's actually supposed to say etc. Okay. Since when is shadow an element? Okay. This list also includes more complex symbolic, um, like life, death, and spirit. These are just sim symbols for something as mi miraculous and incompre incomprehensible, incomprehensible as life to be just a mere symbol. That which is represented must be far greater than than in greater in magnitude. I can't read for anything. Again, we arrive at the question: What do these these repre these things represent? At no, artifacts are what exactly is an artifact? Artifacts, and what exactly is an artifact? Okay, where do powers come from? Us? Where else? <laughs> I wasn't being entirely truthful when I said nobody knows what an artifact is. We are able to define artifacts in general, but but the details of each are far, far beyond us. They, the final answer to the question I've been proposing, an artifact is a thought or emotion of Arya, our god. It can also be described as Arya's will. Like I said, it's from, it's from our mind. Just, that's not exactly our mind, it's just, it's, a, it's mind, never mind. Spirit. Mind over... Mind over spirit, spirit over body, body over will, is it? Or is it spirit over will, will over body? I think that's how it is. I don't remember. It's a circle. It's missing a piece, so it's a almost circle. It's missing something. I've yet to figure that out. I've been studying that for two years now and I've yet to find that missing part. It's psychological. Okay. What we can't understand is how a thought or emotion, even one from Arya, can be symbolized into something physical, tangible, or manipulable. And what, and what that though, wait, thought really means. Take fire, for instance. In, in, liter in literature, often fire means passion or rage, but when it gets lustful, or anger, or anger, flames do not actually appear before us. Furthermore, that is only what fire means to hu to us humans. There is no telling what fire means to a god. Passion and rage uh, are human emotions. Who knows if our god has them too? I don't know. I'm sure he does. Human emotions are also com com complicated enough that we don't sometimes comprehend them. The emotions and thoughts of, of a god would truly be beyond our grasp. In addition, fire can also symbolize life. Both fire and life are eth or artifacts. If, if we use one artifact to symbolize another, how could we ever find the truth beyond it all? So artifacts are a sign of Arya's su supremacy over me minor humans. I have no idea. Whatever. Minor humans. There. Minor human beings. It's simply impossible for us to even understand them completely. To re... To... I had I didn't recollect that thing is what I was trying to say. The source of magic is... Is artifacts, and these sources of art, and this, and this source of artifacts is Arya. You can easily conclude that then that Arya is the ultimate source of magic. Yeah, whatever. As this, both the artifacts, 
I asked this about the artifacts. So I would for Arya. Just exactly is 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 Arya and what gives Arya all of all of all of this power? To ugh, to just burst the question aside, what's ah? Uh, but sometimes, like Arya is a god, is influ in, mm, is influence. Just what makes a god so powerful? Oh my god! I'm having trouble reading, y'all. Having trouble. <laughs> okay. Just look at the re reinforcements. The they worship the 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 called call him a god, but. He is human um, and mortal, a power-hungry pig who only wants its own nation. <laughs> That's just how I'm going to pronounce it every time. U uses his religion as a tool to control the people. Since it since it is a creation of man, it surely it is surely flawed. Sounds like um Catholics, Catholicism. However, how would you, what would you even call that? Catholics, Christian. I, I guess it, I guess it wouldn't be an ism word, but yeah, sounds somewhat like the Catholics and their Pope. I know, I may not know much about the Catholics, but I know enough to know that the Pope's probably extremely corrupt. Cause that's what always happens. Actually, I'm sure that's how it is, just from what I know about it. I'm not Catholic, so. And yeah, yeah, it's wait, I've already read that, <laughs> but. The same could be true about I don't even know what that is. My religion. It may very well be just another creation of man. Why is Arya so much more powerful than Henyenya if they both are truly gods? Shouldn't their powers be equal? Why can't Henyenya produce magic? Henyenya. It's just what I'm going to call it. I love it. I love it. Maybe the reformists are... Are a bad example. Henyin is nothing more than a liar, M meaning Arya could be the one and only true god of this world. That world, yes, not just that. Okay. Even if I continued with with this point, I still wouldn't. It still wouldn't explain why a god is automatically so powerful. So let's use a different example. Okay, let's use an imaginary religion. It. Um, its followers believe in in one and only and only one God who created the world in his hand, in his own hands. A God that is not Arya by any means. Okay. Would they be ca would they be capable of magic physically? Yes, but they don't believe believe in Arya, so they would lack the knowledge. They would be unable to produce magic. Well, why do they have to believe in Arya? What if? The other guy, that the theoretical one that we're using, what if he does the same thing as Arya, though? Like, in this whole entire logic, if, from how this is saying, it's saying that it should work, like, as long as that person allows it. So, Arya gives her people the knowledge to be able to do this. What if the other person did the same? Then they would be able to, in this logic. Ah! Okay. Irritation over. Uh, okay, I read that. So, why is Arya superior to this Im imaginary god? This func this functional god I created on a whim surely is more godly than Hedinya. So, he should at least rival Arya. So, we are back to square one. What is Arya? A god? The god of the Katinne? Katinne. Hanana and Kanana. Okay. Who can produce magic? But we discovered being being a god or called a god is not enough. So that simply means that Arya has to be has to be something else, not just a god, but some but also something else. Also some else. something even greater perhaps. And she is. Naturally she has power over everything about her. What belongs on this planet? What lives and dies, what forces exist and how they are used. <laughs> okay. So magicians are able to borrow her power and use it to to our convenience. In summoning like in some summon is that supposed to be summitation? I don't know. 
Magic is really just asking a favor of our planet. Any questions? Uh, yes. I see your logic, I can understand it, but I think it's a little flawed. Could I maybe patch some things up? Like, seriously? So, to wrap, it, to wrap an extremely long speech into a single sentence, magic comes. Magic powers come from the, from the planet. Couldn't have just said that in a minute. I'll ignore that somewhat dis, disrespectful tone. You're... Wait. Oh, that was Jason that said that. Whoops. I'll imagine that somewhat... I'll ignore that somewhat dis, disrespectful tone and answer, yeah, that's basically it. I've got another question. Shoot. Do you get tired of talking about much, about that much? I've got a question for you. Want to find out how many times I could rip rip off your arms before I before I grow bored? No, I think so. Okay then. Well, now that the lesson the lesson's over, I was talking about making breakfast, but because of that last remark, I'll let you find I'll let you fend for yourself. Fine by me. You said you you said yourself your cooking wasn't any good. Hmm. I could do it too. <laughs> she she marches off to to the pantry door. She opens it and steps inside. I turn a bit trying to get a better angle. She completely she completely disappears. The peak the peak I get inside the room shows me a world beyond belief. A giant corridor filled with all types of food, ingredients, hundreds, maybe thousands of each item. She could feed the entire nation for a whole year or two with all that. Just what does she do with all that food? And wouldn't it go bad? Probably not. She's a magician after all. The further it of if I don't even know how what that word is. Oh no. That point. Smell smell packets and Small packets and boxes of food fly out from the door. They l land themselves gently on on the counter. Melissa is still inside the inside that room. They move too smoothly, too accurately. Wait, too smoothly and accurately. They have been thrown, and they manage to change change direction mid-flight. It must be pretty damn convenient to know magic. <sighs> I would have to say it is too. Much more surprising, the packets opened automatically and began cooking themselves. They have no sense or of self-possession. Wait, did that say they have no or a? They have no sense of self-possession. Okay. I sit and watch in awe. This miracle named magic. By the time Melissa came back into the kitchen, her meal would, is already finished, waiting eagerly to be eaten. She grabs the plate and sits herself at the table. <laughs> Feel free to use whatever you... Whatever, just don't get lost in there. Right, thanks. Ooh, not what I was imagining, but... Yeah, looks nice. See, you got the nice soda here. You got the acids here. You got the wines here. You got the rows of chocolate milk there. <laughs> I forget I'm not recording my mouse, so you can't see this. I should be recording my mouse. I really should. Okay, so... I borrow... Wait, I browse around in... I browse around the entrance of the... Partial... Of the... Mm, pantry hall. It's even bigger when I looked around inside. I was wrong. She could fit the nation in for ten years at, at least. Huh, she could... Feed the nation for ten years at least. Okay, thought it said fit. I, I see nothing simple like cereal. Oh wait, bread. Didn't I see a toaster in the kitchen? I think I could manage that. Hey, I mentioned the toaster earlier, or yesterday. I walk, I walk back out into the into the kitchen and towards the toaster. Well, I don't know what my battery is at on my phone actually. I toss the two pieces of bread and in, in, push it push down the lever and wait. <laughs> Melissa peeks back to see what I am up to. I simply stand there and whistle a tune. She seems dis in 
interested in her own meal. It is it really that bad? It kind of does look a little burnt. And what is that? Hot dogs? It's not hot. Well, it's like the hot dog wieners. It's wieners. I remember when I was little, I used to call them that. Just exactly how bad is her cooking? They there's only one way to find out. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay. I slowly and steadily creep up to her plate. However, that kind of maneuver isn't half as effective if if the target is already watching you. What are you doing? Waiting patiently for my toast? What does it look like I'm doing? Hmm. Step, step, step. I have a carpet floor, so it's not exactly hearable. And I don't really have much leg room either. It's a short desk. Got this when I was little, so, you know, I was short then, so. Back then, it was humongous. I could walk under it. I approach, I approach more cautiously, this time not giving off even the slightest air of suspicious behavior. And yet, she still keeps her eye on me. Well, yeah, you're trying to get her food. Yes. Hmm. No, oh, nothing. I'm right before her now, peering over her shoulder and glancing at her plate. It doesn't look spectacular, but it doesn't look too bad either. That sausage. Oh, it's sausage. Okay. I should have known that. That sausage looks looks the most appetizing. Yoink. Why would you even do that? What? Before before she knew what hit her, or rather her plate, I snatched up a small piece of sausage and threw it in my mouth. Ah, you. How dare you. You didn't even wash your hands. How am I supposed to eat this now? I immediately started start to regret my decision. But not because I'm being yelled at. This is awful. Painfully awful. I know how that feels. I take three great leaps back to back to the counter and spit it into the trash. You, you, um, miserable, ungrateful, in, impolite, dis, 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 is that disgusting? I think it is. Disgusting, dry, dry, thieving dog. Ick, ick, I am going to die. You'll wish you could, could in a few minutes. I think I'm going to be sick. You can't get sick. Then it's a sausage, then this, then it's a sausage so awful I could, I could defy it, the laws of magic. <laughs> Kill! I'm going to kill you a hundred, a thousand times. That sounds fun. Without a word or even a moment, Melissa flings her plate straight towards my head. Ooh. I hit my mic by accident. I manage to duck. The plate shatters against the wall with a crash behind me. Clean it up. You're you're the one that threw it. Clean it up, Severed Boy. All right, all right. I make I make a display as I clean as I, as I clean it up, but that only seems to make Melissa enjoy my suffering more. <laughs> she sits calmly watching over me as she slowly sips away at her tea. She seems quite amused. I I finish quickly and take my seat with a with a thump. thump. Still waiting for the toast. It's probably burnt by now, sir. Even something as simple as that is bound to be a hundred times greater than her breakfast. She turns she turns to me still looking amused. I'm already done cleaning. You don't need to look at me like that anymore. There's Ah, oh, sorry. That taste that brisket again. Brisket's good. That's what I have for dinner. There's not a sound, but her smirk does all all the all the laughing for her. Just why in in the world did I taste this meal? Seriously, what was I thinking? Serving this woman for eternity? I don't know. Um, 
I could see what you were thinking. I know what she's thinking. Or what I, I think I know what she's thinking. I mean, I, I swear it is supposed to turn into a love story, so... Just what exactly is so damn funny? Dots. Okay, really, why would you even have the dots? Is the toaster supposed, is the toaster supposed to take this long? I walk over to the toaster and peer in, completely charred, a pure end stomach's unsettling black. <laughs> oh my, it isn't done yet. What? <laughs> that very second, the bread po pops up, a sign of success. Success in incredibility. In nah. How long have I been going? 25 minutes! I'll get done with the scene. Yes, I know that's not a word, but that's exactly what- Oh, that's not even a word. It happened to my toast. It's so incredibly black, I'm not sure if I can really see it. It might just be toast shadow. But it's solid- It's solid when I pick, when I pick it up. It, defi it definitely, unfortunately, my toast. <sighs> okay, so- I'm just, I'm gonna have to cut it here. I'm sorry, but I am. I don't even feel the scene's over, but this is a good point in which I can at least cut it and be careful and, and feel good. There. So, until then, next time we'll be seeing how my toast tastes. I'm sure it tastes like charcoal. If it tastes like charcoal, I'll use it as charcoal. Yay. Yeah, I can't even do hands right anymore. <laughs> it's funny how I, I've recorded, this is... My third year on YouTube, and it's only whenever there's a face cam I can't do stuff right for whatever reason. But until then, small doves, I'm saying, signing out. Now, time to sync my stopping because I'm using two different recorders.